What's going on YouTube fam? It's your boy Yash. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Before we do move forward, you guys know the drill. Make sure you guys drop a huge like on this video and while you're at it, make sure you guys are also subscribed to the channel with that post notification bell turned on so you guys are updated with all recent and new videos. So in case if you guys are confused or wondering by the title of this video, yes, I'm going to share with you guys the actual product I'm actively running on my Shopify store through Facebook ads. So not only am I going to be sharing with y'all the actual product, but also how I came about finding the product, the competitor that is running this product, how they're running it, but more importantly, what makes this specific product so unique and so out of the ordinary than your typical Shopify dropshipping product? I get this question all the time, almost on a week to week basis. Yash, what makes a dropshipping product so untapped? What makes it so unique that one is able to scale it to the moon? So I thought what better way to do this than actually share a product that I'm currently running, doing about one to 1.5K days in sales that I'm soon going to be scaling to five to 10K days and even onwards. With that being said, I do wanna keep this video as short yet as informative as possible. So make sure you guys actually watch through the entire video and take notes without any further ado let's hop behind my screen and take a look at this current winning product of mine finally so let's get straight into it what exactly are untapped products how do you actually go ahead and define one well first and foremost an untapped product will not have more than two or three competitors this also means that there will be three or less stores running largely at scale towards that product Second, a lot of untapped products, believe it or not, have that random stigma attached to them. This basically means that the typical dropshipper or advertiser will probably not think about such a product. Not to mention, these types of products will not be mentioned anywhere on YouTube, which really gives you a competitive edge over other potential sellers. Moving forward, the basic criteria I like to look for any product, let alone for untapped products, is really ensuring that specific product has an average markup of at least 2.5 to 3x more its original cost price per unit and i say cost price per unit because that's your entire cost to actually buy and ship that product out from your supplier for example let's say a product cost you five bucks and the shipping is three bucks well your average cost per unit is eight bucks so you want to make sure you can at least sell it between 20 to 25 bucks when it comes to the selling price of it this is also very important you have to understand as a digital marketer and dropshipper that platforms like facebook and instagram are forms of interruptive marketing which also means that no one goes on them to intentionally buy therefore your product Product has to have some sort of unique and impulsive factor behind them also known as a wow factor last but not least the product definitely has to be a no-brainer for that potential customer it has to be a very quick impulsive decision as you've probably heard people buy with emotion and justify with logic now let's go ahead and break this product down and see why I exactly chose it you'll be seeing in just a little bit ladies and gents that the type of product I'm currently selling is a type of keychain but why I like this specific keychain so much is because it is mass targetable and mass approachable meaning it has almost no biases limitations and hindrances attached to the product no matter where someone lives what kind of race or ethnicity are what their interests are what their beliefs are this product can still be bought from any single consumer going on the product definitely has a very high perceived value as it is more of an emotional and passion product I would say it has a four to five X markup from the original cost price per unit, which means it has extraordinary margins behind it. What I also like about this product is that the type of content you can actually utilize for marketing. Because the product is very self-explanatory, it doesn't need a lot of unfolding and education and demonstration behind it. It can definitely be advertised solely through images. For example, right now I'm running a lot of single image ads. Some of them are just one single image. Some of them are a collage and I'm also running a bunch of carousel ads as well that are performing really really good and again that's just because of the simplicity and the nature of the product it doesn't need a lot of digging to actually figure out what the product does and how it can be used since this keychain is super lightweight and compact it also makes it very easy to store inventory in a US fulfillment center or a warehouse and this also means that my cost will be super low because it is very efficient to actually ship it out and store in a warehouse obviously right now I'm doing about 1 to 1.5k days with it but in the coming weeks 
I'm definitely going to go ahead and scale to 5, 10, and even 15K days depending on how it's performing. So during that point, I'm definitely going to go ahead and transition to a US fulfillment service or warehouse. Now, this is probably my favorite point and pro about this specific product, ladies and gents. Not only can it be sold super well, not only can it be scaled really well with Facebook ads, but it also has that multi-channel marketing presence towards it, really attain that omnipresence around this product and the actual store or brand that I'm actually running. So I definitely plan on going ahead and utilizing Instagram and TikTok influencers, even go ahead and transitioning into other paid media platforms such as Pinterest and Etsy to go ahead and really have multi revenue streams for this specific product and store. Now, this is probably what you've exactly been waiting for while you actually went ahead and click on this video in the first place. The product is right here, guys. It is the I Love You Forever personalized keychain. Essentially, this is a keychain for sons and daughters. You can see around it, it says, I hope you believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. Never forget that I love you forever. So again, as you can see, this is for someone's son. This is for someone's daughter. It can definitely be bought from a mom, an aunt, a grandmother, or even from someone that really sees a particular person as their son or daughter so that's why it really has a wide and emotional market behind it so not only is that super cool but someone can also pick a personalized letter depending on the person they're giving it to maybe their first or last name initial and attach it to this little ring right here as you can see this one says J and this one says S so I think that's super 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 cool actually having that personalized touch attached towards the keychain and of course there's two types of styles one says to my daughter and the other one says to my son i also love products that people can use and see on a day-to-day -day and weekly basis someone can very easily attach this to you know their set of keys and whatnot and constantly be reminded that whoever is giving it to them really loves them and really cares about them especially as to what's been going around the world recently i think it's a good reminder in a good way to kind of really feel connected to that other person obviously this is not my store this is the competitor store we're going to go ahead and take a look at their ads in just a little bit too but i think they're doing a really great job they have some really clean hd crisp images right here the description is also super nice you know fits right in doesn't really need a lengthy description just because the product is so self-explanatory um, it seems like this is a general store um, I'm not sure how these frequently bought together uh, products or bundles really relate to each other but uh, it seems like it's probably working for them uh, overall very clean store very nicely done and uh, yeah, it's a great product, like I said. One more thing I do wanna point out very quickly and really show you guys how this product is truly untapped is when you go ahead on AliExpress and type in I love you personalized keychain, that product is really nowhere to be seen. I mean, yes, there are other keychains, other products that are very similar, very alike to it, but in no shape, way, or form can we find that exact product, which just really goes to show. Now, I'm not saying you can't find the product on AliExpress, but you do have to go ahead and search very specific key terms and phrases in order to go ahead and find it. As promised, I do wanna show you some of the ads the competitor we saw is running. Now, if you're confused or wondering how I can actually see a dropshipping store's ads, you can simply go to Facebook ad library, search the Facebook page that store is running ads from, and boom, if they are running any any active ads at the given time frame, you can exactly see the type of ad they're running. If we look down here, they're running 20, 2017. So they're running 57 ads, which is definitely a lot. These guys are no doubt doing at least a few thousand dollars in sales, which is really nice. Let's take a deeper dive into each type of ad and see what they're doing differently, see what they're doing the same. For this ad, they are advertising the To My Daughter version or variant of the keychain. And for the primary text, as you can see, ladies and gents, they're actually doing something very interesting. They're using a testimonial based ad copy and it reads, my daughter actually cried such a beautiful sentiment, heart emoji. Surely, perfect gift for your daughter, heart emoji. Get yours here, clean, simple, to the point, and obviously it's working really well for them. You can also see the image is really crisp, 
HD and clear. So just like how I am for my store, it really seems like they're running mostly single image ads, which obviously works really well for such types of products like I mentioned before. Now for the headline, they have Love You Forever Personalized Keychain. Okay, not too bad. I usually like to not include the title, but I usually like to include a direct correlation to the product or some sort of direct statement that really relates to the product. Anywho, that is super clean regardless. And the description is a little bit long. I mean, it's gonna get cut off. People aren't going to be able to go ahead and read it. I typically like to put something of urgency, scarcity, or trust in the description section right here. But uh, regardless, not to really play devil's advocate or anything like that, um, you know, it's working super well for them and overall, very nice job. If we take a look at the second ad, they're doing exactly the same as the last ad we saw. Same format, same structure, except they are advertising the To My Son version or variant of the keychain. And of course, to finish off, let's take a look at this last ad right here. So it seems like they're advertising both of the variants. So they're probably taking more of a broader approach, maybe targeting both male and female when it comes to this specific ad. The headline and description are exactly the same. Obviously, they have both of the variants in the single image. And for the primary text, they have more of a informative or statement sort of ad copy. And it reads, family means putting your arms around each other and being there. Our personalized keychain is perfect for sons or daughters to celebrate your love or show your support for them. Super nice, clean, professional, really brand-like. I always say less is more when it comes to ad copy, but really focus on that visual, which they're absolutely doing right here as this picture is super nice, clean, congruent, and crisp. As we saw, these guys are doing a phenomenal job overall, and we can also see they only started running ads a few days ago, so I do wish them the best of luck for this product. And there you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you for actually sticking till this point in the video. I highly recommend for you guys to take the tips methods and tactics I mentioned throughout the video and apply it to your own product research and validation criteria and processes. As always, if you do have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, feel free to drop them in the comments down below because I do reply to each and every single one of them. Feel free to also check out the resources and links I have in the description down below as they can be very helpful for your Shopify dropshipping business. Make sure you continue working hard and more importantly, keep being awesome. Until the next one, your boy's out. Peace.